Okay, we've uh, completed the linear actuator uh, lifting mechanism for the mower deck. Uh, the uh, actuator is in place. Added a bracket to the uh, existing uh, shaft that controlled the lifting of the deck. And then a rear bracket, of course, to hold the backside. And then tuck the wires up inside the shroud there. And uh, we're able to keep it low, so it's easy getting on. Uh, it doesn't impede your progress to get on and off the tractor or the uh, zero turn. And uh, yeah, the uh, control for it is around the back side here. We have a reversing relay down inside here, hidden away there, tucked kind of out of the way, so it doesn't interfere with servicing the engine, changing the oil, all that type of thing. And uh, that provides your reversing. I tucked the wires in as much as possible and then areas where they're open, I followed the other wires up into the battery compartment. So it is uh, connected through the ignition switch. So unless the ignition switch is in the on position, you can't control uh, the deck so it's off, which is what you want for an accessory like that. And then around this side here, this was the existing pin and foot pedal system, still all on there. So uh, in the event that you had to take the linear actuator off and use it manual, that's all available. So this indicator here gives you the position of the deck. So it kind of lines up whenever it's in the center of the hole, that's where this pin would have been put before. So this pin won't be used anymore at all. Um, and uh, yeah, it's all uh, done with the buttons on the uh, steering. So I'll get on the machine now and uh, show you what uh, got there out of the way. So like I said, it's easy to get on. It's not in your way. Get into position and then uh, turn the ignition on so the buttons will operate and uh, you'll start by lower on the left with the left button on the left side you lower it you can see the uh, height of the different settings so when the uh, linear cylinder gets to the end of its stroke there's limit switches built into it so both of the upper and the uh, lower limit of the cylinder travel there's a switch that shuts it off so you're not trying to force the uh, the cylinder to operate once it's reached its end. That's part of the the design effort. You have to make sure that your cylinder runs its full stroke, full out, and full back. And you do that by positioning of how much leverage you have on this and uh, the position where it fastens into the machine. Just you have to to do that. I did some clamping and a bunch of experiments to get it to the point where you can have it uh, so it goes full stroke. So you see, it gets to full stroke and automatically stops. So that makes it quite easy. And it's also interlocked, so if you push both buttons at the same time, there's an interlock that it doesn't try to go both uh, directions on the contactor. And the default, if both buttons are pushed, is for the cylinder to retract and the deck to go down. Yeah, that's, uh, I think that pretty much covers it. I think it's going to be a great asset. You can uh, drive the tractor around, run your steering mechanisms, very easily adjust the deck. You can see this quite readily as you're driving along. And uh, yeah, it should uh, make it so we can continuously adjust the uh, cutting height according to different areas of the lawn where I have areas where I want to have uh, uneven ground and that where I have to run it a bit higher or tree roots sticking out of the ground and that kind of thing. So. Yeah, we're uh, looking forward to trying it and uh, we're looking forward to the spring so we can uh, do some testing and some lawn cutting and uh, look do the whole system. We talked earlier about the uh, articulating front axle that I put in and now this linear actuator for the mower deck. So yeah, we're uh, excited to try it. We'll uh, see how it goes in the spring. Thanks.